Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World review. Today we're going to take a look at a dinosaur that has the most deceiving name of all time. It's the Dino Tracker's Strike Attack Gigant Spinosaurus. With a name like that, you would think this is some sort of weird hybrid, but nope, it is just a small species of Stegosaur from China. And I was quite excited when they announced this figure. For as far as Stegosaur figures go, it's a pretty good looking figure, so I'm really happy to finally get my hands on this figure i ended up getting mine off of amazon i pre-ordered a while ago i'm not sure if these are being found in stores yet most likely they're probably being found at best buy it seems to be the go-to place to find these new dino tracker figures but anyways let's go over the package really quick before we crack open this little stegosaur we got beta and blue up here jurassic world logo down here it is from a desert binome dino tracker logo down here blah 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 spin it around get a picture of how the strike attack action works and down here are the other figures available in this new wave of strike attacks. We have the previously reviewed Prestosuchus, Dilophosaurus, and another Atrociraptor. Uh, don't need to pick any of these up. I think the paint schemes look absolutely horrible. And plus the Hammond Collection Dilo exists. So no need to pick up any more basic line Dilos. So that will do it for the package. And let's crack this thing open and take a closer look. And here is the gigantic Spinosaurus of the package. I have to say a really cool looking figure. I actually really like how this turned out. Yeah, it does have that uh, awesome bro Mattel flair to it with the really exaggerated shoulder spikes. It should be a different shape and it should be pointing down and pointing the other direction. But yeah, they're really nice looking figure. You know, it does look half finished. You know, you just got that, you know, sandstone orange for the front half of the body before it transitions into sort of like that earth tone. Uh, brown uh, but at least the spikes for the most part are painted in a nice white color you know the ones on the neck aren't painted and the tail spikes aren't painted i think if they did that the figure would look a lot more complete but all around i think it's a really really nice looking figure i love getting obscure species uh from mattel and you know this figure pretty much nails the general shape of what a gigantic spinosaurus is it always so weird just saying that name and then you see what the actual animal looks like it just sounds like it should just be like a hybrid uh, you know in the Jurassic franchise, but yeah, I really do think this little spiky fellow now time for some measurements This figure is seven and a half inches long from the tip of the tail to the tip of the beak or just over 19 centimeters Three and a half inches tall to the top of those giant shoulder spikes or 8.9 centimeters So despite its name gigantic Spinosaurus was a relatively small stegosaur 14 feet long or 4.2 meters So I put this figure somewhere in the 122 scale range now let's zoom and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure starting with the head really nice head sculpt you know it looks like a downsized stegosaurus uh, head but at least it nails the shape of what a stegosaur head should look like uh the eyes are painted in yellow the pupil is not painted in it's just the base color plastic uh coming through for the pupil and let's spin it around the other side the other eye is painted much better the bake beak is painted gray and then going down to the top of the neck, you see those spikes come in. Really wish all the spikes were painted white. But like I said, you know, these uh, mainline figures just do not have the best paint apps. On the other side, we actually do have some of that uh, brownish coloration for the underside of the throat. And then transitioning uh, to the body, you do have that brownish color. Uh, the front part is painted that, you know, sandstone uh, orange coloration. And then going down to those big, giant, oversized shoulder spikes really really nicely detailed they have a lot of nice detail all over them same thing with the spikes on the back they're all painted in white and there's some nice detailing on them a lot of nice sculpted scale detail all over the figure toe claws are not painted which is pretty typical for any mainline figure you have some more of that orange blotching along the side right there and then going down to legs they're very thick and powerful looking legs bulging calf muscles and wrinkles around the kneecap and then going down to the tail we do get six tail spike i believe in real life this thing should only have four but like i said mattel is going to mattel with these species but all around it does generally look like a gigantic spinosaurus and before i forget if you pull up on this little spike right here you do get the scan code for those who want to scan this into the fax app now for articulation it's pretty basic the front arms can move forwards and backwards and there is a hinge allows you to swing the arms out for whatever reason you would like uh hind legs can move backwards and forwards there is a locking point to keep in the neutral position not as tight as it is on some figures and you do get 
very very little uh hip pivot in there and now the rest of the articulation is tied to the action feature there's no button activated so what you need to do is you know hold on to one of the uh i'm going to do it like this so you can see it to shake the head back and forth and i'll call it the tail to swing let's do it from this angle over here you know not the most exciting action feature but at least you don't have some ugly button messing up the sculpt of the figure and same thing you can hold it from the tail and allow the head to thrash side to side really you know not a ton of movement with it but you know it works you know it's a stegosaur it's going to thagomize with that tail now for comparisons here it is with the hammock collection robert muldoon and next up, let's do a couple smaller dinosaur species. Here it is with the Hammock Collection Gallimimus. And here it is with the 93 Classic Dilophosaurus. And next up, let's do an accurate representation of Gigant Spinosaurus. This is Collect Days. This figure came out a few years ago, but the uh, new reconstruction has these shoulder spikes turned downwards and pointing this way. But like I said, you know, the Mattel version pretty much nails the shape of what a Gigant Spinosaurus is. And next up here it is with the Hammond Collection Irritator that does not want to stand. Come on, buddy. There we go. And next up here it is with the rest of the Stegosaurus from Mattel. We have Stegosaurus, Chilingosaurus, Meragaya, and Kentrosaurus. We also do have the Baby Stegosaurus. Uh, that came out in the Legacy Collection. We also have another Baby Stegosaurus in the Hammond Collection. Uh, no idea where I put my uh, Baby Legacy Stego. It's just buried in a box somewhere. But yeah, these are all the species that they have done so far. And they've done a pretty decent job. I think these two right here, the Meragaya and Chialingosaurus, are the worst two. The Kentro, Gigant Spinosaurus, and the Stegosaurus, I think, are absolutely excellent. And next up here is a group shot of the upper... I'm probably going to say it wrong. Shaxamo uh formation it's the formation where gigant spinosaurus was discovered in. and these are the dinosaurs that lived alongside it yang chawanosaurus the very elusive and rare gasosaurus chilingosaurus and zoanosaurus so yeah pretty cool that we're getting you know we can actually make formation groups of all the obscure species uh mattel has been cranking out over the years and lastly here it is with the 93 classic real feel red rex so final thoughts on Mattel's Gigant Spinosaurus. I'm loving the fact that they keep giving us more and more obscure dinosaurs. As far as the Stegosaur, it's one of their better attempts on the two species uh, that they have done. You know, it does have that Mattel Awesome Bro, you know, going on there with the extra tail spikes and the huge shoulder spike po pointing straight up. It should be in a different position. But as a whole, you know, it gives you the general idea of what the species look like. And I just think it's a nice sculpt all around. Paint job is meh. Nah, looks like it's half done and that's pretty much can be said for a lot of the mainline figures but all in all it's a really good figure and i'm very happy that i picked it up and like i said at the beginning of the review i got this figure off of amazon i'll leave the link down below in the description if you want to order one for yourself so that will do it for the review uh i did pick up a lot of the new danger packs i'll be reviewing those over the next week or so still waiting for the holland god of Hadasaurus to come in and there should be a bunch of more new stuff coming in over the next month or so so stay tuned for all that and as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys for the next one.